First of all, I would say start using signals as much as possible. We've seen on social media, multiple people saying that, okay, I'm using Angular 14 or 13 and I can't really use signals, but I would say just create a new application. Try to build the classic to do app and get yourself familiarized with Angular signals, because that's the way to go if you want to really work on the future of Angular, so to say. I would also suggest to use the HTTP resource API, which out of the box provides you the signals for is loading, error and value. And it makes things easier because not only you're sort of getting rid of subscriptions there and you out of the box get a signal which you can work with which you can make work with the effects as well and everything becomes more reactive in a sense i would also encourage you to look into the defer block because i think that's probably one of the coolest features that has landed recently in angular not only it allowed us to load components which are not on the screen at the moment but on the same page but it also was the building blocks for hydration or incremental hydration when it comes to server-side rendering so I would definitely say try this one out.